we have to do is enter this office, and it's done. It's gotta end, and now is a good time. I need you to stay here while I sort this out with Judy. You wanna be alone with her and the old man? You think she's pretty? And you don't want me to distract you? That's got nothing to do with it, Mary. There's no reason to be jealous. She's the new leader of the Resistance, that's all. This is true, but I also know that she is fond of you. Please, be careful. Trust yourself as I do. You are all I have. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back soon. not let him be dragged in front of an angry mob. Let the people judge him. You were going to debase Aurora in the eyes of the other guilds if you humiliated its dowser. I couldn't allow that. You're completely wrong about us. Yes, he would have been judged, but it would have been fair. We're not here to destroy, but to rebuild. Your beautiful ideas are naive and dangerous, girl. And I was sure you wouldn't understand. But I'm ready to answer for my actions. You will be judged for this murder as well as for your involvement in a corrupt government. You will have to answer for many things. Are you sure we can leave him alive after what he just did? You heard him. You think he'll just stand aside peacefully and watch the Resistance form a new government? I'm not like him. I can't kill just because it suits me. He may be a pragmatist, but there is the blood of a hero running through his veins. He fought for Aurora. But, this is your fight, and your decision. You're right. We're better than this. He needs to stand trial. I guess I have to thank you for your mercy. Even if my execution is just postponed. Yeah, you should thank him. You could have saved innocence, but chose not to. Don't think he forgives you. Roy, I'm proud of you for not giving in to your anger. The page has been turned, and we have a world to build. Come with me. The free people of Aurora await. Resistance and right ideas of freedom for the people. I've committed sabotage, spied, even killed. Including one of their leaders who thought he was doing good and committed betrayal for the benefit of abundance. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Thanks to our actions, the Technomancers are now under constant resistance surveillance. Their dreams of power are at an end, this time. It was suggested I command them, but I don't like the idea of holding all these people on a leash like I was. Mary once thought about joining them, but I convinced her to stay with me. Whatever the future holds, at least we'll meet it together. Tenacity has decided to hunt for the Resistance. He's looking for traitors, everyone suspected of participating in all the horrible things. That'll probably lead to a real cleansing. Judy hates the idea, but she can't stop the people from holding grudges. Aurora will have to set up a new government. I hope, of course, that it'll be less corrupt, but I'm not dreaming. There will always be tyrants ready to take over the guild, ready to dominate the people for their own ends. Judy will keep debating as usual to try to defend her dream. She did, of course, ask for my help, but to be honest, I'm not sure I belong among them. I'll be staying here for a while regardless, just to see how things pan out, because I know the conflict is far from over. Abundance will not give up so easily. The death of our Dowser and the recovery of Greenholm will give them the hope that they can crush us. And even if we still have a war hero, he'll soon be appearing before a court, if he's let off. I fear he'll be the leading opponent of the new government. Anyway, for the moment, life goes on and Aurora can now dream of a better future. One that innocents who sacrificed himself for this dream will never know.
so I write the final words of the war log of Innocent Smith to give it a proper ending. Farewell, kid. <laughs>